What's going on everyone? Today we're talking about cut bait versus lures. And we're gonna be catching some big fish on both, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna show you guys my lures that I like to use on the, on the, the jetty, on the surf. Um, and that's the SP Minnow. And stuff like this, big plugs like this, whether it be top water or a metal lip diver, stuff like this that can cast out far and cover a lot of water and mimic the bait fish escaping. Um, so with this, anytime, one of the, anytime a lure has lips like this, see this metal lip, see this plastic lip, mm -hmm. that means it'll dive. It's got its own action. So you don't need to twitch it, you don't need to go, you don't need to make the action. All you gotta do is retrieve it. What you gotta do is work on your retrieval speed, um, your casting distance, um, and making sure that you, you are, you're getting your lure out there and covering as much water as possible. Now, when I'm casting this out, I'm, I'm using different retrievals. Some, sometimes I'm, I'm retrieving it really fast, sometimes I'm retrieving it slow, sometimes I'm doing fast, then slow, then fast, then slow, then stop, then fast. You know, you gotta mix it up. Um, it, the fish will tell you what they want. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna be on my GoPro. See you guys there. Look, 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 all the bait fish. Oh my God, that's a blue fish. Oh, I see them, I see them. They're herding them up. Holy crap, holy crap. Aaron, get that on footage. Oh, you had one of those? Oh my god, those are rocks, Dad. That's a rock. Chasing them. Oh my god, this fish chasing my SP minnow. Oh, this big fish right there. something. Rock. Small rock. Look at that, guys. On. Nice guys, nice guys, nice guys, another one. SP Minnow. This is the bait fish that they were all chasing earlier. Yeah. So we know that they definitely like to eat this. And they're used to the scent of this. The blood all over it, the fish oils in it. 
This is a good way if you know if you have like a bad knee like me and you can't be standing on the rocks and casting all day long. Um, cut bait is good to sit and wait. Easier on your knees, easier on your body. Um, I like both. So we're cutting this up in chunks, like steak style. Instead of filleting it, let's see if it works. Nice, Dad. This will be fun. Nice. On cut bait. Oh my God, nice dad. Oh. Oh my God, the lion snapped. Yeah. Holy crap, dad. Oh. My papa caught a big one. Is that the biggest one you caught? Pretty much ever? No, I think I got the Sam's eye like this in, in uh... Everything Holy gone. crap. Nice one, Dad. Nice one, Mr. Mike. Thank you, thank you. This was on the cut bait we used. About the same as the, uh, the, the lures. Now the primary difference is with bait fishing, you're gonna be generally, you let it sit on the bottom and you wait, you don't need to give it action. Whereas the lures, you need to constantly cast over and over and over again. Uh, but for me, I had a lot of fun doing the over and over again when there's fish. <laughs> but when there's no fish and you're searching for hours and hours, it feels like days and days without a fish. So that's why I generally stick to bait fishing. It's more fun, more relaxing, less strenuous on my knee. My, I just got surgery not that long ago and it's hard for me to stand all day long. So sitting and doing bait fishing really is productive and easier on my body. Look at that. Good job, Dad. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I'm glad we all left with a big striper. There we go, just yeah, using the tail. You the other piece with Oh, okay. The body piece, more meat. All right, and putting this chunk on. Size six hook, six aught hook. Make sure it gets in there good. Just like that, there we go. And where'd you cast it, out to the channel? Yeah, I just cast straight ahead. Like that? All right, Dad. I'm gonna feel the bottom first. There, just hit bottom. And now we just wait. And now we wait. And my dad says it won't take long anyways. I need to learn to, to calm myself when my adrenaline is going crazy is to be able to, to keep it calm so that I don't I don't be clumsy and make any kind of stupid mistakes. You know, I don't want to make any mistakes and hurt myself or break my rod or Oh Brendan! Oh oh it's gone! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it snapped it! Oh, I don't know what you're cutting. What are you tying down? But... Did you get that on film? Yeah. Let me see that. No, it oh. snapped at your sinker. I knew it. It needs to be a high low. High low? It snapped at your sinker, Dad. What do you mean? No, that, that line is shit. That holds that. Not, not about the sinker. What, the 40 pound? Yeah. That shit line. As it says the drag, you gotta set a circle hope you're good to go. You're gone. He said. Huge. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Come on, let's go. We already have enough. I know, yeah. Well, that's 
what I'm doing. Shake it up, baby. <laughs> Shake it up, baby, baby. I have pliers. Yeah, I saw that. You got it. All right, Mr. Mike. On fire with the bait. Uh oh. Another important tip to make sure you have your leader line long enough so you can grab on it. Just in case you need to. Grab the leader? Yeah. Ah. Woohoo! And remember, try to use circle hook as you can. Uh huh. You hook? Wow, very nice. Oh, my. Bye bye. Nice like I said, we have enough fish, so let, let it go. Right. We do not need to be greedy. See for somebody there else. There it goes. Nice job. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. How you feel, babe? I feel great. Yeah? I feel on top of the world, and now I can finally shave my face. Yay! You like that? I'm happy about that. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it on until I catch a 30-pounder. Catch a what do you think, Aaron? I'm going to go for the 30-pounder tomorrow. I'm going to leave it on until tomorrow. OK? You said it. You want it. No! Um, anyways, guys. The fish will be running for some, up to an hour, two hours, but then they'll be gone. They move with the tide, they move with the bait fish, and um, right about now, I'm gonna be doing some, just like micro fishing, little, just messing around on the rocks. There's a bunch of little fish hanging around the rocks. Nothing serious, still a lot of fun. Um, but we ended up catching some really quality sized fish today, and our patience had paid off. Uh, we had actually had been searching for these rockfish for four days now. Uh, it looks like on camera, on camera, it looks like we just got on them and it was really easy to catch them. But really, in, in reality, uh, we spent a long time looking for them. We had, to, we had to talk to a lot of people, find out a lot of different insight, find a lot of different spots, try a lot of different spots, wet our lines for a long time before we actually were able to find them. And the first thing that really signified that there were fish here and that the rockfish were, were running is the plentiful bait fish that were running right close up onto the shoreline. I was watching them. They weren't just swimming casually. They were being chased by something. They were being rounded up close into the shore. And when you see stuff like that, uh, that's when it's time, that's when it's time to throw a lure. If bait fish are being chased, things are getting busted upon, going crazy, that's when I'm gonna throw my lure because when I'm putting on cut bait, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to to, to recut and reapply every time you catch them. So when you throw a lure, you save a lot of time and I don't know, the action is a lot different. I like, I like throwing lures. Um, but times like now when it has died down, the rockfish aren't completely gone from here. They're still, they're still around here. That's when I throw my bait out and wait. The action isn't hot and heavy. When the action's hot and heavy, throw your lure. When the action is, throw some bait or if you don't like throwing lures and you know you're, you're having problems like with your body throw bait even when it's hot and heavy they'll bite basically anything i hope you guys enjoyed the episode i hope you guys learned something our job here at senko skipper is to help you guys get on fish that is our job we want to teach anyone and everyone who wants to learn how to catch fish because i remember a time where i didn't know how to catch them and it was hard to find the information and we want to be that source for you guys to help you guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. Push that little notification bell. We have a new episode every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Check out our store, our new store, our Senko Skipper store. We've got a bunch of stuff to help beginner fishermen. Uh, we've got really cool bait, super salty tentacles, super, super salty chunk bait, a jetty kit. So if you guys want to catch fish off the jetty, get this kit, get some squid, and you'll have a good day. See you guys.